Hey, what is up guys? Today I wanted to make a quick video just to help people out that are thinking about becoming a registered dietitian. So you want to work in the nutrition field. And this video is specifically for people that want to work in clinical dietetics. So clinical nutrition, working in a hospital or in like a clinic or doctor's office and see patients in those types of environments or even telehealth nowadays because everything's virtual. I highly recommend you think about the physician assistant career path instead of becoming a registered dietitian. Now I am a registered dietitian, I'm not a physician assistant, so I can't give you every in-depth thing about becoming a PA, a physician assistant. Physician assistant, they don't necessarily just focus on nutrition. It's more of a broader type of job, you know, a broader range type of job, but they can go and specialize in fields that deal a lot with nutrition like gastroenterology, specialized for people with diabetes, so caring for diabetics or people with kidney disease, so nephrology. A lot of these types of diseases focus on nutrition as treatment and you can get the certified nutrition specialist credential after you've finished the PA program, which is a master's program, and you've done all the uh, hours required. You can go and get the certified nutrition specialist credential and you can pretty much do everything that a dietitian does and you make a lot more money as a physician assistant. Just looking at, you know, comparing the two jobs, both require a master's degree. Right now, the, the registered dietitian does not need a master's degree, but in two years, everybody that does not already have the credential and wants to get it, you need a master's degree to take the exam to get the credential. Here's where it's kind of messed up. The master's for taking the RD exam, it doesn't have to be in nutrition. It can literally be in like anything, like yodeling. I was surprised that there's actually a degree for like yodeling, but yeah, you can get like a master's degree for like yodeling and then go and take the RD exam. Why are you allowing this? It doesn't help the profession it doesn't make you a better nutritionist if you have a degree in yodeling. Whatever. That's something that's, you know, besides the point. But if you compare the two things, all right, both require a master's degree. So similar time in school, I do think the PA will probably take a little bit longer. Their coursework, I believe around three years, dietitian, you can probably do it in two years with the internship. Let's look at the pay. RD is... $63,000 median. PA is making over six figures, so that's $100,000 plus for not that much more schooling. You're making so much more money as a PA. And here's the thing, you could study nutrition for your bachelor's degree to get into the PA program. They're the same bachelor's degree that you could have used to get into a school to become an RD, you could use all those same nutrition classes to get into a PA program. So anatomy, uh, biochemistry, organic chemistry, microbiology, all that stuff you got to take in, in a nutrition path anyway to become an RD. So you can just use that same degree and get into PA school. And other benefits of becoming a physician assistant instead of an RD Physician assistant has so many more privileges in healthcare, such as diagnosing, prescription writing, changing diet orders. A lot of these things, you'd think a dietitian would have some privilege for changing diet orders, but in a lot of states, you can't do that. Every time you want to change a diet order, you have to go and ask the PA, ask the nurse practitioner, ask the doctor to change the patient's nutrition. Uh, orders for like diet changes, tube feeding advancing, you'd always have to go to the physician assistant anyway, so why not just become the physician assistant if there's not that much more schooling. So I just want to save you a little bit of time if you are thinking about it and you know you're going to work in like a hospital or a clinic. Just look more at becoming a physician assistant instead. Now on the other hand, if you're like me, I really love food service, culinary arts. That's my kind of thing. I know physician assistant. I was thinking about 
going to school for that, like going back, because I got my master's degree pretty recently in nutrition, but I just don't really like clinical at all. I'd much rather work in the kitchen. That's just where I feel like I'm at home. I mean, it sucks that the pay is not nearly as good as physician assistant pay, but it's all right. You know, I'd rather just do what I want to do. For me, money's not that big of an issue because I'm kind of a minimalist. I don't really buy a lot of expensive things, so I don't really need all that much money. And I can save up just fine. But for people that want to start a family and whatnot, hey, that six-figure salary, don't, don't let that slip if you're really thinking about clinical nutrition. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. Obviously, do your own research. Go look into it some more. PA is definitely not going to help someone that likes to work in a kitchen like me. But for you, might be a different story. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer the ones for like questions on a dietitian. But obviously, I can't really answer anything for PAs. But yeah, I hope this video helped you out. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.